All right, welcome back guys to another video. And today we're gonna to be checking out the Valley of the Ancient UE5 demo. But this time we're gonna be trying it out with the RTX 4090 and we'll see if we can get a pretty decent frame rate. But yeah, as you can see, super nice to be back in this little demo here and just fly around. So we can go ahead and uh, launch this little drone thing that we can control. And you can just fly around the level and previously I was playing this with my RTX 3070. I believe last year when they released this, must have been last summer when they released this demo, but playtesting it on my 3070, I just wasn't getting the best frame rate, but again, I was trying it in the editor. So let's go ahead and move around here. So our character, we can go ahead and stand up so we can walk around here. I still need to go ahead and get like a 4K monitor because right now I'm just running this on a 1080p monitor. So let's go ahead and travel to the, I guess, Shadowlands. And so here we are. And it just looks amazing, just all the level of detail, especially with the lighting. Honestly, when I was trying it out with my 3070, about a year ago I was getting probably around like 30 frames a second but as you can see it's running here pretty darn smooth at about 120 frames a second and of course this is still in 1080p so I'll have to try this in 4k but I mean it's just crazy the amount of detail I really like this overcast sort of dark lighting in here and just all the different jagged rocks off in the distance you can just look at all the nanite rocks on the ground and we can run up to this little structure and just see all the detail on the meshes go ahead and blast our way through here but it's just really cool to actually start seeing machines that are starting to catch up with the Unreal Engine 5 nanite technology so I mean here in the next couple of years we're gonna have cards that can run games like this for probably pretty decent price too okay so here we are in the final boss scene and usually this is where i was getting terrible frames with my uh, 3070 but we'll go ahead and see how this thing runs it's always pretty cool seeing all the little particle effects and uh, destruction that they added to all these meshes And we're running about 90 frames a second. I don't even remember if you can get hit by the little laser beam or if your character just dodges it, but. Man, all the different particle effects that, that they've put into just this laser beam. I can't even remember how to, I think we have to shoot his hand. Okay, so now I think we have to uh, shoot the head. Okay, so pretty crazy how smooth the transition from cinematic to gameplay that was. But yeah, we can walk up to this model here and you can just see the nanite detail on that armor. I'm, I'm so blown away at, at just seeing this demo run at a really good frame rate. And it's going to be crazy to see where games go here in the next couple of years having access to Unreal Engine 5 as well as using even newer cards that can run all in real time with no issues. But yeah, that's pretty much uh, it for this video. I just want to check out the demo. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Have you ever wanted to make a multiplayer survival game? Well now you can. I just released my Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer Steam survival game course where I show you how to make a complete survival game from start to finish. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you'll get a big early access discount. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So with that being said, hope to see you guys there.